You had some visions, didn't you, shortly after you arrived in Adelaide. Tell us about those. Well, you see, when you talk about those, you get certain people that go, uh-oh, you know, hmm, yeah. what was she on, or something like that. Mm. But no, it actually happened to me. Um, um, I was looking into the skies one morning early, and I made a face in the clouds. And um, the face came closer and closer. It wasn't a face that I knew. Um, it was larger than life, much larger than life. And when the, the face actually came to the window and looked at me, there were great big blue eyes. And I was looked at with sensi sensitivity and love, like I've never been looked at before. And when that face looked at me, it moved away, and a woman's face looked at me. At the time, I had no idea what it meant, or why me, or anything like that. But I had been very ill, and this was the Lord's way of letting me know that he was looking after me. And from then on, I've just been looked after and so aware of my daily life and the way he does love me and loves you and everybody as well. Let's talk about your life here in Adelaide and you talk about loving everyone. Everyone does seem to love you. You have an incredible number of visitors, don't you? Everyone drops in and out. You have theatrical people staying with you. Do you enjoy that sort of, um, that sort of life where there are people wandering in and out of the house at any time of day or night? I do. Um, I do enjoy people coming to visit me very much. I love it. Um, if it gets beyond me, I always let them know, like say, hey, I'm too tired, go please, <laughs> leave. <laughs> um, but we have a lot of fun around here at this table. We have Mad Hatter's tea parties galore. Yes, it's almost as if you sit here in the driveway and hold court around this large <laughs> round table and well, people drop in and uh, you're almost a mentor, aren't you, for, mu for musicians in this city? Yes, they call me the Queen of Hearts. <laughs> Sybil, do you think um, people might describe you as being eccentric? They could quite very well describe me as being eccentric, but I think the world needs us. Now when I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. And in my hour of darkness, she is standing right in front of me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. There will be an answer, let it be. And when the broken-hearted people are living in the world agree, there will be an answer, let it be. For though they may be parted, there is still a chance that they will see. There will be an answer, let it be. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. There will be an answer, let it be. be
see you soon.